Welcome to Yeshiva Dav Shir Sponsor, Lui Nishmas Ayim Yaakov Shalom Le'ab Nesitzchok. We're holding in Bometziah Dav Kov Zayim. We're starting in the Mishnah Dav Kuv Vov on base in the bottom. HaMikala Sod Mechadeiru Lezoro Asayim. Someone, his deal was he has to plant barley. Lo Yisrael Nechiti, he should not plant wheat. Chiti, his deal was to plant wheat. Yisrael Nechiti, he could do soyer. Why? Because wheat ruins the field more. As Rashi says, now, as Rashi, there's only by a renter. He a sharecropper. Says here, of course, plant wheat. How is going to ruin the land? We learned earlier that the owner of the land cares more about the, what he's eating than what the, the value of the land. So, because the sharecropper pays for the field, so then you should do it. The Ramban, as the Gran points out over here, Rabban argues and says that the Kablonus, you, you're not allowed to do it because you, you, I don't want you to ruin the, the field. And by, um, and by, by, by Chakiro, maybe it's okay. So the Mokhlek is Rashi and the Rabban. Says the Mishnah, Tvul is ready to keep this. If it's Tvul, so don't plan. Say, um, sorry, Shemuel Oyser. Shemuel says you can't switch. We'll see the Gemara why. Tvul is ready to keep this. Kidney is ready to If you have Tvul grain, don't put kidneys to this type of uh, seed. And kidneys is ready for you could do the opposite. In other words, question which one is ruins the field? Because Shimon Gulois has never changed what the Baba is told you. Oh, he's the Maitama, the Shimon Gulois, the Shimon Gulois argue. The Khiv Shiriz is Shreel La Yasu of Love, the Loy Dabru Kazov, the Loy Mtsabi Fim Moshe Tarvis. I mean, that's a puzzle. It says, don't change. It's a lie. You made up to do one thing. If you change it, you change, you're not keeping your word. So I'm going to say, my base pulling from Lunt early in the Messiah. But when you Raise money for Purim, has to go to Purim. They ain't the dark to give a dollar. Not the dark so much. They ain't our only Rashay, the Kach, the Emir, Tzul, the Sandaloy. You can use it, take with it, the Tzul, the Sandaloy, which means take with it, you know, use it for, it has to be for food and Purim. You have to take a shoe. And we can eat them, the mom, and then Shayir, the Rabbi Yaakov, Shul, Shul, and Shul, and So I learned you did a Tanai with Anshayir that you could change it to other purposes, not for the food of Purim. Hashem Yumlil says, when a Kuzayin may kill, he is naked. So you see what Shemuel says you can change. The reason Shemuel is like Mar, don't Mar, I mind the Michele Tibur Ari, someone who wants the land, they can ruin. Lizrael shot the Chiti, shot the Sari. Should do one year wheat, one year barley. Shot the Shti, shot the Arif. One year, if you do it from one side of the field, the other, the year, the other side, another direction. And so if you didn't plow it twice, but if you plowed it twice, then, it's, then we're not talking about it. Meaning, it's not because we changed your word. But the problem is, if last year the owner planted wheat, and now you plant barley, you're ruining the field. That's why you can't change, even though it's a better product for the field on its own. That's a rational. It's rational learns that Tibur Ari means ruin the field. Tibur Ari learns the opposite. Tibur Ari means make the field great. Make it the best field. So then you switch around what you're planting. So it's the opposite. The owner told him plant wheat because last year I did barley. So then we should not plant barley because if he plants barley, it's, it's not going to get as good as it could be if you change it. Same with four Israeli kidneys. kidneys. If you have four, you could plant kidneys. Now we said four low Israeli kidneys. How long now? It depends on the soil or the soil. The lands are drier. If you start messing around, it ruins it. In Bovel, you have so much the swamps, so it doesn't, it's not such a problem. Oh, if you do the Rabbi Nachi, my brother Rabbi, how many tachli the big kitlo in Mishum Gezel? Which means these are these vegetables, they call tachli, these plants, shchalai, shchalim, that they grow among the, the flocks. And it ruins the flocks. So every anybody can come and take it because it's good for the owner of the land. But I mean, like volume, but if it's on the border, it doesn't really rule the flax. Yes, you should guess that you can't take it. Being who should is there, if it's really got hard, it was really ready for a while, it got hard. Whatever it ruined the room. I feel they've been keeping the Nami Yesh from Mishum Gezel. Now you can't take it away anymore. My time up, my the absent ups. Whatever it ruined the room is too late. Only if you do the Rabbi and Barb Nachim, Rabbi Nachim, my brother Rabbi, again, this Losh Rabbi Nachim. Hadi Dili, Diloch, the Diloch Dili. Your trees are mine, my trees are yours. Rashi is talking about that the the roots of the tree went from one field to another. They had two fields one next to each other. And the roots of tr- uh, the roots went from one to another. So whatever is yours and mine, mine is yours, we're connected together. Jesus learns that the trees were growing literally on the border. 
No green mouth, so you'll have no to the can, the can, no to the can, the can. So the way Rashi learns, the roots that go to this side belong to you. The roots that belong to that side belong to you. According to places that they all grow on the border, talk about the branches of the tree. The tree standing on the border, according to places, literally on the border, according to Rashi, that the roots are going to each side. On the other the can, the can, the can, the can, you go based where it tilts to. Shmuel Omach, like Shmuel says, you just divide it, you split it. Macy Bay's more bright, it says, Illinois, with the Mates, it's standing in the border. Yachleku, like Shmuel, the youth to the Rav, to steer to Rav. Take him a Shmuel, leave it the Rav, and Male, Kola Mates are cool. Talk about that he filled up the whole Mates up. What does it mean? So according to Rashi, there's no, there's no, uh, there's, the Mates, it means there's, there's, um, the, sh- the roots are going to both angles. Every tree has roots to both sides. And according to this, it's, it's completely filling up the, the, the mater, so you can't, you can't come in, so there you do your chleku, you don't, it means it's not, it's not tilting to one side or another. Yachim Ayelam is what's the Chiddush? The Torah the Tali Tumni Lechav Yisrael. According to Rashi, the fruits and the branches are going to one side. According to Taisis, Tali Tich Lechav Yisrael means that, um, um, that only part, I mean, there is, it's half and half, but some branches are going more to one side than the other. Says the Gemara, Vakatavala, and we're still, you know, the main tree is half and half. In other words, it says, what, the one says, let's divide the tree into half. Half of the tree, half of the tree. One says, let's divide the tree in half. Going to Rashi means, if the, the, the trees, the flip field, one is in the east, one is in the west. So he says, okay, let's, play, let's divide the tree north to south. So I'm going to get more because my, my, I have to the, to the right side, to the east. There's more branches than the left. So it says the other one, why do you do it from north to south? Divide the trees east to west. So then we're dividing exactly equally. Only if you do the Rabin Bar Nachman, Rabin Nachman, I brought the Rabin. Like Tizvin Aro the Smichlaman, don't buy a land next to the city where everybody can see you and there'll be Ayn Aro. Now the more goes into Ayn Aro. Don't stand next to the field of your friend when the field is growing. Because you give Ainar. What did Rav say in the following passage? These are the Psukim and Parshkisavai. What are you dashing it? That's what Rav dashed. Baruch atah ba'ir she'ei beit chosamuch lebeis kresses. Your house should be next to the shul. Baruch atah v'sod v'shu nechasek l'koyim la'ir. You should have the <coughs> your fields next to the city. Mashu lachol now like we just said you should not have your field next to the city. Baruch atah v've'ev v'shul etim tzayi shtech v'sodik nido v'shas biyos chovin aderek. When you cover in the way <coughs> your wife should not be sodik nido. This we learned in the past. The Maran learns. Maran explains sodik nido is worse than nido. Nido you know it's also when it's a doubt it's the worst. All your children should be like you. The bathroom should be close to your table so you can go to the bathroom right away. Don't make it so close. There is schab sears. It's better for the shul to be far away, so you, you get reward for walking to shul. What's the sadeh? You should have a bracha, the sadeh, that the field, you should have different fields. Shlish betvur, shlish bezeis, shlish bekvani. Grain, olives, grapes. So you, if, this, if one of them gets room, the other one works. You're going out of the world, you're coming to the world. Come and leave without any sin. And this is a lot to talk about. Got to get to Beis Hashem and the Shor Machshav and the Daf. So what does more bring your question on Rav? You said over here that you should not have your your field right next to the city. Rav said it should be next to the city. Similar to Kuzayim with Beis Lekasha. How the Meadulish Shor Ritko? How the Meadulish Shor Ritko? Do you have a fe- a wall and a fence around? If you have a wall and a fence, no problem to have next to the city. If you don't have a wall and a fence, everybody sees it, then it's Ein Hol. Some of you see Hashem Chol Kol Choyli that could both take you all sickness. Oh my God, Zuayin Ayin. That's an Ayin Arba that we just mentioned. Rav the time the Rav saw the big cave, he went into the into into the graveyard. On the night of it, he did what he did. Rashi explains he was able to check with the Quran why each one died. 
Omar Tishimi Tisha by Nero, the Echel Bedechets, 99% died because of Ein Horror. One, because normal, no, a normal death. The Shmuel Omar is their Ruach. People die because of the wind, because of bad wind, bad, bad spirits, that they kill them. Shmuel at Tyre, Dom Shmuel, called the Ruach, everybody dies because of the Ruach. Shmuel Aikar, Ruge Machos, all the people that are dead, they're killed by the king. They're killed because they, 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 they cut their head off. Halaknami, Yilan Ziko, without the wind, Abdul Sobev Chai, he has a special uh, uh, um, medicine that can put back the skin, the, the different parts, limbs of the body together, as Rashi points out. Pchrino Omar Zutzino, what makes most people die is cold. Don't Pchrino Akobi Deshwai, everything is with Yeshavai, which will controls it. Chut Vitzino, your parents said, cold and heat, that, that it depends on the person himself. Shema Tzino, Pagam, Dech, Ike, Shoren, Nofshi, Chakmeya, a person is Shoren, Afshur, Presents the guard himself again too cold, again too hot. I mean, so we're getting no more zut soyo. No more soyo. Actually, that's the one that kills people. No more soyo sa choytim and soyo sa oizen. Even the ones the dirt coming out of the nose for the ears. Ruben kosher too much is kosher and it kills a person. Umiyutam yof a little bit is okay. Those are my zoom moro. The moro is this the spleen. That's the thing that kills people. Tanya, that's where all the sicknesses are. Tanya miyachi machol zumor. So they say a shemichol kol machlo. So what do you mean? What's the machlo? That's the more. That's the spleen. How many kashvah machlo? She machle kol guvijol. That causes sickness to the person's body. The miyachi machlo she shmoyni mishloi she chaloi pluy mamor. Machlo as the gematria of eighty eighty three. There's eighty three sicknesses in the more. The kulam all of them pass shakris bemela the kitu shemayim vatlo. Bread and water. In the morning, good breakfast takes them away. So the morning now, I thought about you give all the fire and air power shock. There's 13 things that a good breakfast takes away. Matzalas, minacham, takes away from heat. Uminatzimah, from cold. Uminazikim, from wind. Uminamazikim, the bad spirits. Umachkimah, space, it makes a person smart. The Zoyche Bedin is able to say good time and based him, wind based him. Limoy Toiro will allow me to learn well and to teach Toiro. The Dvar of Mishmoy, people hear what he says and accept it. The Talmud is kind of the whatever he learns, he's able to remember. They ain't besorah male hevel. It doesn't, there's no hevel heat coming out of his body. The Nizkek leishtoy, by eating breakfast, he has time for his wife. They ain't even started with Isha he's able to be with his wife. And then he goes out, he doesn't have time for another woman. Horikas kino should be meyayin, and he kills the kino that is in the stomach, the worm in the stomach. The Shorim Yav Moitzi is a kino, umachni says Ahabo. Takes away jealousy and brings in love, so it makes a person, uh, uh, a person in a much better way. How do we know what people say? Run sixty runs and you will not reach a person. Even if you run, in other words, the the the, the you can run sixty times and you're not going to reach a person who needs a breakfast. The breakfast is stronger. Wake up early in the morning to eat in the summer because of the heat, protect your meat. In the winter because of the cold. It won't be hungry, it won't be thirsty. And won't heat them the, the heat. Why eat Why eat them? Because if they, don't, if they make sure not to eat and drink, not to be hungry, so the heat will not hit them. Just <coughs> the apostle speaks about the heat. Not about the cold. Only after one, let me also you learn from near. I have another puzzle. You, you will worship Hashem. He will give you bracha in your food and your drink. You have a lot of food and drink. That, that food and drink. So create your food. He will give you breakfast. Now you won't have sickness. You see how good breakfast is. The one who does the measurements. Don't be mezalzel in measurements. In measurements. They call puto, puto, chazi, lekakumo, rishko. Even a small amount of land, you can plant lekakumo, rishko, this plant. So even if you have a small land, you can plant something here. So we're at the one who does the measurements. The one who does the measurements. The one who does the measurements. The Negro is the small Amasamayim. You have a special water that goes to certain fields. You don't have to be so didactic because the owners of the field are 
they're, they're moichel. It, it belongs to them, so they're moichel on it. They are not, but the big river, like the Shechenu cloud, you don't do measure, you make a dying yoffa, give it a lot more, because it belongs to Rabbim. Belongs to Rabbim, one of the big river, if you, and the, the when you have to do, <coughs> when you come and give water to all the, the, the entire city, you should not do it because, uh, because you need to, because you need to give people, uh, nobody can be moichel you, so you have to give them what it is. Um, that, that's what it is. Says the Gemara, the Rabbi Yudah the time, and the Rabbi Yudah are born with that Negro, Libri and Negro, it's going to the people of that Negro, so they can be more here. That in order to cool the Alma, it belongs to the big river, so then it is, the, it, 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 it's, it's the cool the Alma, so they can't be more here, and therefore you have to be more lenient, to be able to do more, to give them more water, in order to not take away what belongs to the Tzibur. Okay, so, you know, we'll stop over here. This starts something we can go into the next half. We'll leave for the daf of Shabbos. Beis Hashem, from here, we'll start the next half for the word Nachris in Dafkuzayin with base. Kol Tov.